This is Scott Pliskin, about to head down to Days of the Dead, downtown LA. Hop a uh, subway train down there. While en route, I'll be listening to what do we got on the iPod? Room Org. Yeah, because I'm all caught up on DeadPit.com. About to make a trek down the convention center. Go and get stabbed. Right What's the best way uh, you connect with your fans? Through social media or websites? Uh, for me, the best way is coming to uh, these conventions and meeting you guys in person because with all you guys, I don't have a job. You know, and I appreciate everything that you guys uh, do for us, and we just want to give back, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're all over social media, you know, and, and Twitter and Facebook and all of that. Yeah, definitely the, the conventions are by far the best because it's really hard to choke somebody through Twitter. <laughs> for me. And, you know, I, by the way, raise your hand if I've choked you before. Oh, not that many this time. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you don't need to volunteer. I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say uh, probably in four, five, uh, the shower scene, and I was supposed to be nude, but I wouldn't do nudity, and they had a body double, so I had a bathing suit, a whole suit, and it went across like this. And um, and then it was showing, and they're like, well, you got to pull it down lower. And I'm like, it ain't going any lower than this. You're going to have to change your frame. So, um, and then, in five, when I'm walking down the hallway, and the body double, the back side of her, I was like, damn, I look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they did a great job choosing the body double. But, <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I know how to body double, too. <laughs> so she made me look good but and then when they're shooting me in the front you know again it was this issue and I have this thing that's going across and they're like it's showing and I'm like sorry you know and because um, I just was not I just didn't want to do I'm going to do nudity so anyway that was hard because I had to stand up for myself and people who are putting pressure on you and you feel you know it, it's that's where it's hard but you learn you know you sometimes you just have to stand up for what you believe in and what you feel comfortable doing and not feel pressure so and they anyway. can always work around it and they can yeah. they can always work around it and you know they can so oh yeah. and i have nothing against what you do they, they, can, for me. they can work around it because I'll, all i know is that with my wardrobe it just kept getting smaller <laughs> all the time rennie just kept bringing in smaller pieces and so, like, I had to have them sew little things on the, the bathing suit bottom, and <laughs> it was like, everything was just really tiny. Well, I have to say the cabana scene with, um, with Jesse, I was so, <laughs> was so nervous, and Mark couldn't have been more sweet, and it was a difficult day for him, because he had to deal with the tongue, and he had to hold the tongue in his mouth for hours, and they, <laughs> the crew was making fun of him, and he shared that story numerous times, and it's... I had no idea at the time what he was going through because I was just nervous that my but I, I also had a, a no nudity you know what do you call that clause in my contract and Mark so conveniently used his hands to cover parts of me um, but that day was just also for me it was like oh. <laughs> CK. He's got pleasure in this. Thank you. Thanks. Say anything. You're Keith David.
Your voice is sexy. <laughs> Do you like Ben White? Man? Thank you. Ask the ask. I don't know what to say. Man. Uh, I guess I gotta, you know, first of all, thank Roddy because without him I wouldn't have looked so good doing that. Part. Uh, you know, he's the guy. So. Presenting this, and I'm very, very grateful and happy. Days of the Dead, fight of the century. It's because all the rest of them are fucking dead. Where the hell's Carpenter? Yeah! He's the one who came and had this gorilla all over my ass. <laughs> He's Mike Tyson, he doesn't know it. <laughs> He's a Best wonderful guy. Ever. Oh man, if it uh, wasn't for Keith David, there wouldn't be a They Live. I swear to you. And the fight scene, um, I've never seen a man throw his heart just into the ring like Keith David did. And uh, I love him for it. Um, I've had over 7,000 pro fights. So I'm a bit of an expert on fights. And I think I'm really, really proud to be able to take this one home just as long as you know that without Keith David, it wouldn't have been nothing. Thank you very much. For yeah! Achievement Award. Please welcome from what I'm sure is on everyone's coffee table, Fangoria Magazine. Justin Green, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. How do you follow up Roddy Piper? My God, that's amazing. Good book. You know what's funny is an aside on that, John Carpenter to this day in his office has a Roddy Piper G.I. Joe figure on top of his bookshelf, autographed, and a hot rod cap on the corner of his desk, which is yeah. absolutely hilarious, dating all the way back to uh, WrestleMania 3. So, John Carpenter's story.